And look, I'll close with this. Look at that. You know what that is? That's a picture of Pluto. That's a picture of the dwarf planet Pluto. You know how we got that? We got that off of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft. It made it to Pluto after crossing the solar system for nine and a half years. It traveled three billion miles from Earth and came within 8,000 miles of the surface of Pluto. It was traveling at more than 31,000 miles per hour. And it took three minutes to cross the face of Pluto, in which it took innumerable images and samples for our scientists. Let me say that one of the lead scientists on it was quoted thusly. Her name is Bowman. I have to pinch myself, said Bowman, who managed one hour of sleep in her office Monday night. Look what we accomplished. It's truly amazing. Humankind can go out and explore these worlds and see Pluto revealed just before our eyes. It's just fantastic. And it really is. These are American scientists who were able to run an American craft three billion miles to cross within 8,000 miles of Pluto, traveling 31,000 miles an hour. And when those scientists from NASA tell us that climate change is real, what do we have to say to them? We say that they're part of a hoax. Really? Is that going to be the position of members in this body? That the people who are driving a rover around on the surface of Mars, that the people who flew this New Horizons craft by Pluto don't know what they're talking about when they say that climate change is real? We got people trying to unfund their satellites so that we don't have the information to prove what's happening on climate change. Is that responsible with respect to NASA? Mr. President, a day of reckoning is going to come on this, and we had better start getting this right. I yield the floor.